Now see, the real question is, how are you gonna protect your data? Web3 is inevitable. We've seen Web1 with read only. We've seen Web2, which we're in currently now, with all the content that we are posting. Now, the next step is Web3. Now, it took some time to get through all of these different versions and for the internet to come about in general. It took about 10 years to be able to make those transitions. However, Web3, we think that it will take about the same amount of time, but we don't really know. Web3 is going to be based on blockchain technology. So the questions that we're gonna be asking ourselves very, very soon is how are we gonna protect ourselves on this new form of internet? And right here, we have some choices that are presenting themselves early to us. One of them being Ocean Protocol, tools for the Web3 and data economy. The other is Jasmine Coin. Another coin that is growing is community as well. Not based in America, but we do, or well, I do at least, really like this coin. By the way, I'm not a financial advisor, and also if you want to win $100 in free crypto, all you have to do is subscribe. You'll be entered to win $100 in free crypto when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Again, all you have to do is subscribe. So I'm looking at Web3, and I'm thinking about the data privacy and how our data is being sold right now by big wigs. I'm not going to say any company names in this video, but you know the big wigs that I mean. The centralized companies that have access to all our data without our knowledge. Well, some of it is with our knowledge, but, you know, we go ahead and click that. Yes, I agree. And then our, all of our data gets sold without us ever knowing about it. Ocean Protocol and Jasmine are pretty similar in the fact that it gives you power over your data again. It gives you power over your data in the sense that as far as Ocean and Jasmine, they will be able to lock away your data so that you can do what you want to do with it. Ocean, for example, is more centered around being able to sell your own information or just, you know, exchange information with it still being secured and private. Meaning, let's say the example that they gave in a video where self-driving cars are having failures because of their AI technology. Ocean could step in and they would be able to data share between the companies, the different self-driving cars, so that the technology can rewrite itself, the AI technology is able to understand whatever that it needs to understand so that there are less fatalities, less accidents happening with self-driving cars. They will know where each other are based on that data that is being transferred privately and securely across the block their blockchain network. And so Jasmine, on the other hand, while they're both similar, Jasmine is you're able to just lock away your information and you can choose what you want to do with that. It gives you the option to choose what you want to do. As, and as far as what I've seen so far, I haven't really seen Jasmine on the side that they're so wanting you to be able to sell your information but they're just wanting you to be able to have control over your information and they they might be doing that but i haven't seen that as of what i have seen on their research pages um of course do your own research look into both of them they're both pretty similar i'm sure there's very um big key differences between them but just going over the layer they're pretty much the same and realizing this it makes a lot of sense that why don't we have access to our own information? Why aren't we able to choose the information that's shared without having to just give all up our give up all our rights just because we want to use our particular website or a particular program? Why do we have to just give up everything for it to be sold?
And so that's what these um, two coins are trying to solve. And, and you know, anything that it becomes very large scale, becomes very necessary, successful in the world are things that we need. And this is something that solves a problem and something that the everyday people need. Especially, not only does it solve a problem in that respect, but it's on blockchain network. So it's already secure in solving a problem there. So they're taking it that extra mile to, to lock down the information, to give data owners that much of, you know, that much respect to be able to finally have control over our own data, stop being exploited by these big companies and th by them making so much money off of us. And it start instead be able to put the power back into our hands in that in those in those regards so hope you guys like this video um again do your own research on these two coins i really like them i feel like they're both at really good prices especially uh especially ocean protocol with it being under a dollar um sometimes it's around the 80 cent mark i don't know what it's at exactly right now but i feel like it's a really good time as far as jasmine jasmine as well I think I got in like around 12, 13 cents most of it, but also now is our good time to, to get in as well. I'm not a financial advisor, but that's just, just, just what I would do if it was me. But then again, you're not me. So I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it all to the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more content. There's a lot of more content on here that still applies to the market now because we're in similar market conditions. So go check those out. Leave a like if you want to. Leave a comment if you have something to say. I will respond and I'll catch you on the next one.